Hi, my name's Lynn Melliker. I'm the Senior Respiratory Therapist in MedICU. I just want to talk about how to perform a stress index maneuver. Um, you would look at your patient's waveforms. This would be my settings if I was on a ventilator down there. My tidal volume is 350. Um, we want to assess if our PEEP is accurate. So we would look at our um, waveform here, but at our lower inspiratory time, a short eye time, it's really difficult to see. So we would go into it, take our inspiratory time up to 0.7 and that's going to give me about a 30 for a flow and so now that's going to widen out my um, waveform so that I can see the actual um, stress index. So we're looking for this line here. The beginning coming up is the opening of the alveoli and then this is the compliance of the alveoli and so you want it to be a straight line. You want that to be normal. And the best time to do this, like I said, the patient has to be passive, so right after intubation, or when you come in and they're just riding the ventilator. So on this patient with a PEEP of 12, um, it looks pretty good. So if I wanted to see, would 14 be as well, or I'm going to go all the way to 16. And sometimes if 16 a PEEP, and I'm getting it to do it a little bit, so there that one there so it looks convex and so that's over distended so really on this instance that's too much peep if you're seeing that without the patient initiating breaths then you know you need to come down on your peep because you're over distending your peep and I just turned it up so I'm going to go back down to 12 I'm looking at that, I see I have a straight line, and when I assess this, I make changes of one or two at a time, and sit here and just let them view a couple of breaths. Um, but we could see, is 12 too much, even though it looks good, could we go less? And I just want to see if I am going to be able to show you when you need more peep. And it really doesn't do it on this test lung, but I'm going to try to get it to do it. It's not quite a straight line. So if you have it at just four a peep and you're getting a rounding on your curve, that means your alveoli are still opening and closing with each breath. So to recruit more, you need to go up on your peep when you see it like this. So I would go up on my peep. And you know that when you're starting somebody off on the ventilator, if you have a BMI of 30, you want to use 8 of PEEP. If you have a BMI of 40, you should automatically go to 10 of PEEP. And that's just to recruit because we use smaller tidal volumes to prevent atelectasis. So that's our BMI there. But if you're still not oxygenating well, and if I was on, you know, higher than 60%, I would be testing this to go up to 12 of PEEP to see if my line is still straight and if I could recruit my alveoli. So you can keep going up until you see it start to over distend, then you're going to want to come down on your PEEP. Once you've assessed your PEEP and what's the best PEEP, um, then you want to make sure that you go back in, put your eye time back down to get your flow of 60. That is what our protocol is for MedICU. Our inspiratory time should be set for a flow of 60. We have had a few people putting rise time on. You should never put rise time on in volume control. Rise time slows the beginning part of your flow down. And with this short of an eye time, I don't want anything slowed down. So you never use rise time in volume control. You could use pause, a little bit of pause on if the patient was um, double stacking and that will give a little bit of pause but you want to take your pause off when you're looking at your stress index so if you're looking at your stress index take your pause off first lengthen your eye time to get a flow of 30 look at a few breaths, make sure the patient's not initiating, they need to be passive breaths. Assess what your waveform is. If it's straight, that's normal. If it's 
curving up, you're over distended, you would decrease your peep. And if it's humped this way, you need to go up on your peep. Go back again, set it back to 60. And that is how you perform a stress index maneuver. Thank you.